Mouth ulcer is a common sign which occurs due to a variety of reasons. Usually it is nothing to worry about, but sometimes it can be an initial presentation of a developing cancer. That's why it is essential to know how to differentiate between what is considered as a usual mouth ulcer and what could be a potential mouth cancer. In these unprecedented times of COVID-19, I understand many of you have not been able to attend the regular checkup appointments. Therefore, I'm here to give you some hints of understanding a general ulcer and a dangerous one. Of course, this is not a replacement for your actual appointment. Majority of the population develops the most common type of ulcer known as canker sores or recurrent aphthous ulcers. These are small yet painful sores that can make your eating and speaking uncomfortable mostly causing burning sensation. Sometimes there can be bleeding and discharge. Usually appear inside the cheeks, lips, gum or tongue. But if you develop ulcers anywhere else on your body like hands or foot, it could be due to other illness. Canker sores are seen as reddish or yellowish white circular spots. If you notice any lacy pattern, it could be due to other conditions which has the potential to turn into cancer. So consult your dentist to be sure. There can be multiple ulcers at a time ranging from different sizes, but if it is very large, then it needs to be investigated. Mouth ulcers are not contagious, unlike cold sores, which is a viral infection and contagious. They heal on their own within 7 to 14 days. Lasting longer is an alarming sign. Only by knowing the cause of the ulcer, we can prevent it from coming back. So let's see what triggers canker sores. Any sort of injury like accidental cheek bite, rough fillings, sharp tooth, badly fitting dentures, aggressive toothbrushing or irritating toothpaste, even cuts or burns while eating or drinking, allergic reaction to a new toothpaste or food intolerance. Hormonal changes such as pregnancy, menstruation, especially heavy periods leading to anemia. Stress or anxiety, positive family history of ulcers, Sometimes cause cannot be determined. This can be an alarming sign because even for cancer, sometimes there is no known cause. Certain conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, Bess's disease, diabetes, HIV can cause these ulcers and require medical treatment. Weak immune system, deficiency of vitamin B12, iron, zinc and folate, change in medication or dosage, even certain medications so you may ask your doctor for alternatives. Recently quit smoking? To such people I would say, please don't be put off. By making this decision, you have done the best thing for yourself. Keep it up. Hopefully, as time passes, your body will adapt to this new change. Canker sores need time to heal, about 7 to 14 days. So what can you do during this time? Help your body heal faster, take medicines to get relief from pain and know how to reduce the chances of recurrence. Chlorhexidine mouthwash helps to prevent any infection, but do not use it for more than 14 days. Benzidamine mouthwash will help reduce the inflammation. Topical numbing agents containing lidocaine, benzocaine in the form of gel or ointments. Anti-inflammatory or pain relief medication like paracetamol. Nutritional supplements like vitamin B12, iron, zinc and folate. If these are not useful, your dentist may prescribe you steroid medication. The best way to reduce the chances of recurrence is by carefully monitoring what could have triggered the ulcer. Cancer of the mouth can first appear as a mouth ulcer. So let's see what are the alarming features. Long-lasting ulcer without any obvious cause, painless, raised and rolled margins, keep increasing in size, usually appears under the tongue but may appear anywhere else and pain in the ear. Factors that greatly increase the risk of cancer include excessive tobacco, alcohol, especially the combination is very dangerous for health, chewing betel quid or pan, compromised immune system, long-term exposure to sunlight, HPV infection. It is mandatory for any ulcer that lasts longer than three weeks should be checked by your dentist or if the ulcer keeps coming back, if you develop high fever or diarrhea or if it becomes extremely painful or red. Apart from these, appearance of red and white patches in the mouth, unusual lumps or swellings in the head and neck, persistently coarse voice are all warning signs. The sooner we detect cancer, the better are the chances of survival. Final tips for people who develop ulcer frequently. Use warm salt water rinses, use a soft bristle toothbrush, have a balanced diet. Especially vegetarians, make sure your diet is rich in essential nutrients. 
eat softer diet take adequate sleep and rest this will not only prevent ulcers but will also prevent other problems avoid using toothpaste containing sodium lauryl sulfate do not eat very spicy or acidic food avoid crunchy snacks do not drink very hot or acidic fruit juices or carbonated drinks if you find this useful do share it with others your small effort could make a huge difference to someone's life and to know more about your oral health please subscribe to meet your teeth thank you